as I have uh, told you in the past, these messages are not dated in the aspect that uh, I don't preach concerning events, dates, or times in which I am in because I am convinced that uh, there is going to be trouble in this world uh, no, no matter what the date is because Jesus said it, in this world you shall have tribulation, trouble. There's going to be trouble, and guess what? Trouble. And what happens is that people get caught up in uh, what they would consider to be solutions. And many times it's based upon, well, we're going to have an election, and uh, if the election doesn't go the way that we think it's going to go, then, then it's just going to be chaos forever. And I'm not going to tell you that uh, there can be very serious things happening in the political realm or happening uh, in any other aspect of life. What I'm simply telling you is that if we are looking to mankind as our solution, and I'm talking to the church now, I'm talking to Christians, people who believe in God, who believe in the power of God. If we're looking to a politician or if we're looking to some other person, then we're looking the wrong way because the answers to the situations that we were deal with in the times in which we are living is God and the Holy Spirit. And uh, what I have proclaimed this, I wrote a book about this, is that there has to be an empowerment into the church that is the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And it doesn't matter whether you're on one side that says we've got to be loud and raucous and we've got to be able to, to have all kinds of, of, of energy in our services in order to be able to evoke the Holy Spirit, or if you're on the other side and you're a little bit more quiet. The thing is, the anointing of the Holy Spirit is what will empower the church to be able to speak in times of trouble and disaccord uh, that will lead us to the presence and the power of God that will help us to be able to win people to the knowledge of God, which will lead them to eternal life. That's the mission. That's the mission that Jesus Christ gave us. And that's why I have been so intrigued by this eighth chapter of the book of Acts that we've been in now, this I think this is the, the third week. And I entitled the messages that just talks about how that we are in difficult times, times that are always trouble, no matter whatever it is. And there are strongholds. And that's what I've entitled the message, Stronghold. This is the third edition of it because Philip, went into a spiritual stronghold, and he had great success. But when Peter and John came, they said, you need more power here. And he prayed with the people, and they received the anointing of the Holy Spirit of God. The Holy Spirit filled those people with an endowment of power, and that's what I'm saying, that the church, I'm talking about the church of the living God. We need to seek that endowment of power that comes from the presence of the Holy Spirit, that we will walk in the Spirit as, as the Bible declares that we should, that we'll walk in the Spirit. And through that power and anointing, God will give us incredible boldness to stand for Him, even in troubled times. This is Pastor Jack King with the Gospel on the radio broadcast.